Gun violence never stops in the USA. A young couple shot and killed in Elkhorn Bar. Search for the killer continues. The wife, 37 years old. The husband, 33 years old. Uh, Well, what a shame. God bless the family and friends. Damn. Search for the killer of a young couple who were found dead in Elkhorn at a bar early this morning. Those victims are 37-year-old Gina Weingart and 33-year-old Emerson Weingart, who were just married this past summer. A heartbreaking story. CBS 58's Adam Reif live outside the Sports Page Bar and Grill in Elkhorn tonight. Adam? Well, that bar remains closed tonight after it was swarmed with investigators for much of the day. And you can see a growing memorial outside. In fact, about a dozen people were just here moments ago hugging and keeping vigil. The father of Emerson Weingart, his name is Jeff, told me he's frustrated with a lack of information coming from police today. Meanwhile, some people here in town are afraid of a killer. My son called me at 12.09 and I was asleep and I answered the phone. And there was nobody on the other end. Elkhorn police said someone called 911 two minutes later. Shots were fired at the Sports Page Bar and Grill, and a person was down. Between nine and a half, I'll just the Sports Page Bar and Grill for a male with a... Shot. Emerson and Gina Weingart had been shot and killed. One of our workers, actually, he lives up on top of this uh, barbershop. He actually said he actually heard shots. My wife and I are absolutely devastated. Emerson was a good kid. Emerson's father, Jeff Weingart, told us Emerson graduated from high school with honors, then got a teaching degree at UW Lacrosse. He and Gina got married in June. Gina attended bar twice a week, and Emerson would sit with her. Emerson's two younger brothers found out about the shooting from friends who listened to a police scanner overnight. On Thursday afternoon, the brothers broke the news to their parents. I told mom and dad to sit down uh, on the couch and... Uh, they said Emerson and Gina saw God last night, and that was it. At an afternoon briefing, police had yet to determine a motive. We do not know at this time if it was a robbery or if it was a targeted um, against the individuals. But Jeff is frustrated with the lack of information. I asked if they had a suspect, they wouldn't say. I asked if they had an eyewitness, they wouldn't say. Hours later, as a memorial group, people were not feeling safe worrying about the killer. And I'm looking, I'm like, okay. Where are they? Are they still here? Are they in a different state? Jeff Weingart and his wife are also awaiting answers while they make arrangements for their son. Good kid. You know he didn't have any enemies. The kid wouldn't hurt a fly. So Jeff Weingart told me the last he heard from the police chief here in Elkhorn was that he would get a phone call the moment someone was in custody. But again, no one in custody at this time and police still don't have the identity of a suspect in this case. Live here in Elkhorn, Adam Rife, CBS 58. Again, God bless the victims, the couple, the young couple gunned down and murdered February 1st, 2024, Elkhorn, Wisconsin. A crucial reminder here, help is available. If you or anyone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the phone number there on your screen or simply text the word START to 88788. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.